Hi fellow birdies and welcome back to another edition of Songbirds Eating Show. In today's video we're going to be doing Tic Tac recipes for 24 hours. So we're going to be trying out some viral recipes that I found whilst going through Tic Tac. Some of them are very well known from you for a long time and some of them are kind of brand new. We're going to go ahead and get started with breakfast. So let's get cooking. So for the first recipe we're going to be making what's called a blueberry muffin smoothie. Now this is by Healthy Kelsey. I'll include the links to the TikTok recipes in the description below. So what you'll need is two cups of frozen blueberries, two tablespoons of peanut butter, two tablespoons of chia seeds, two bananas, two cups of any kind of milk, and half a cup of oats. Let's go ahead and make it. All right, now that we have everything together, let's go ahead and blend it. Now I've blended it and this is what it looks like. So it's pretty similar to the way it turned out for her. So I'm gonna pour it into a couple of serving glasses and we're gonna try it out. All right guys, we are now back with our Tic Tac blueberry muffin smoothies. Mm -hmm. So it's got chia seeds in it, peanut butter and all that stuff. So oatmeal, mm. let's try it out. Let's see. Why does it taste a little bit like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Just a little bit. Of course, you got that combination of the blueberries and peanut butters. Makes a PBJ sandwich pretty good. I'm not sure if I would per se this is a blueberry muffin. It's more like a PBJ sandwich. I can definitely taste the blueberry though. Like, I recently had like a you know, blueberry jam, uh, jelly sandwich, like a blueberry peanut mm -hmm. butter jelly. Sandwich. And it looks really good too, actually. Like it's got a nice purple hue, purple color. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't call this, per se, myself a blueberry muffin smoothie. I'd say PBJ smoothie, in my opinion. But I would probably give this like a seven and a half. It's not bad. I mean, I'd probably make it again, but mm, it's just not what I was hoping it would be. For me, six. Yeah, like it just doesn't really impress me. Like it's got like a blueberry taste to me. Yeah, you know, she seems to you know disagree on that front. But... <laughs> it's a PBJ. <laughs> but whether or not it's blueberry or not blueberry, it just doesn't really amaze the taste wise. It's just kind of average at best. You know, decent. I'd much rather have the smoothies you normally make me. Yeah, I usually just make them like a peanut butter banana smoothie. I just add water to it. I don't even add milk. Like I tried adding milk the other and he said he actually didn't like it as much. So, water it is. <laughs> Indeed, give me that peanut butter. <laughs> anyway, we'll be back with you guys at lunchtime. I have a cool meal planned for you with some hamburger sliders. Hmm. So we'll see you then. It's now lunchtime, and the next recipe we're going to be making is by Brandy Ward. Now basically what these look like are beef and cheese sliders. So we're going to be using some ground turkey, but you can use a pound and a half, two pounds of ground meat of your choice. We're going to be using six slices of American cheese. We're going to be using a little bit of shredded cheese as well. And we're also going to be using these Hawaiian rolls. Now they didn't quite slice in half all that well for me so i just separated them out you gonna do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees next thing we're gonna do is smash the meat and uh like season it all in a square so let's see if i can do that all right now smush the meat down so this should be about big enough for the hawaiian rolls and we're gonna bake this for about 20 minutes all right, we now have the meat cooked, and what you're going to do next is take the bottom half of these Hawaiian rolls, and you're going to layer this on top. And once you have that on top, you're going to put about six slices of cheese on top of this. And once you've done that, it should look something like this. And the next thing you're going to do is take your shredded cheese and sprinkle on top. Then you're going to place the slider buns back on top of this and bake this for another 20 minutes and it should be done. They are now done. It looks nice, gooey, and cheesy. So we're going to have a couple of them each and try them out. All right, guys, we are now back with our meat sliders, or in this case, turkey sliders. So they turned out pretty good. 
So, as you can see, lots of nice gooey cheese. Mm -hmm. So, let's try a bite. Mmm. Mm-hmm. My one wish is there was beef instead of turkey. <clears throat> That's good. That is really good. Like, I kind of wonder how it would taste with ground beef mm -hmm. or at least ground turkey. Or just what we have, but this is so much better than, you know, those, like, sliders at Crystals or White Castle. Like, this is the bomb. This is very good. Mm -hmm. And honestly, that's even with it being turkey. I'm tell you, that cheesy flavor is there. Mm -hmm. Especially with the American cheese. And when I took it out of the oven, it, it was, like, cutting it. It was gooey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, the cheese was pulling... Literally from the sides and stuff like that. So. Oh gosh, you near cheese poles. <laughs> I know, right? Mm -hmm. So, this was definitely really good. Like, it's easy to put together. I would give this a nine. I love the taste of it. It's just really spot on, and it's real easy to put together for a weeknight, weekend dinner, whatever you want to do, do with it. For me, it's about eight, eight and a half, but. If it would have a different meat, I'd probably jack it up to a nine as well. The cheese is amazing. Yeah, because you don't like ground turkey so much. Sorry, I can't hear you over the sound of that cheese. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, hey, if you guys are looking for a nice, easy dinner or lunch, whatever like that, give this recipe a try. Definitely a very good viral recipe. Thumbs mm -hmm. up. All right, this last recipe we're gonna be trying today is called Smashed Potatoes and it's by Plant You. Now, basically what you have to do is you can take any kind of potatoes you have. In this case, I have yellow golden potatoes. I need about six of them. And I've already got a pot of water coming close to a boil. And then what you wanna do is make sure that it's boiling first. Then you're gonna boil your potatoes for about 30 minutes um, on reduce the heat and let it cook for 30 minutes. And then afterwards, I'll show you the next step. We're going to get a cookie baking sheet with parchment paper. All right, it's been about 20 to 25 minutes and we've drained the water out and I put the potatoes in the pan and have parchment paper. So the next thing we're gonna do is take a butter knife and make a soft slice about halfway through each potato. All right, now that we've done that, we're gonna be using the bottom of a cup or a mug and smash them down. All right, so once we've mashed them down, you're gonna add some pepper and garlic salt, which I've already done. And you can also drizzle with olive oil if you like a more crispy potato, but it's not necessary. So we're gonna place these in the oven and bake for another 30 to 40 minutes and they'll be done. All right, guys, we're now back with our last meal, smashed potatoes. Now, I don't think they quite turn out the way they're supposed to, like, but it's my first time making them. We all make mistakes. Mm -hmm. so. It doesn't look bad, so let's just go ahead and try it out. Now, I did recommend green goddess dressing to dip this into, but I didn't have the stuff for it. So I'll just dip it in like some ranch. Mmm. Mmm. Even without the taste, isn't bad. You add the garlic and the salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Really blends up the flavor of potatoes. I love potatoes. <laughs> Mind you, I eat french fries a lot. <laughs> And, um, but these are really good. It's, uh, like, it's not crispy. It's like if you added olive oil to this, it would be crispy. But you, know, you didn't have to. It's not necessary. Mm -hmm. But, very much before you eat potato chip, except with the crunch. <laughs> For a potato, this is like a you know, good old baked potato. Mm-hmm. It's like. With, you know, ranch and, you know, salt. Right. Pepper. Or your cheese and sour cream. Just imagine if you put cheese or dip this in the sour cream. <laughs> So, this is not bad. It's just like eating a you know, baked potato in a different form. But I can see why this is really popular on TikTok. That's pretty darn good. Mm hmm. One million likes. <laughs> so, this is a recipe from like I think a year or so ago. But and I was looking at popular recipes and this popped up and I was like, you know, I probably should be wanting to try this for a while. And um, I remember seeing it back when it came out, but I just kind of forgot about it. But. Hey, I'm trying it out. It's good. 
Um, this would be like a good side dish if you want something on the side. I would give this personally, I like this, you know, seasonings and stuff. I mean, eight and a half. Hmm. I'm going to give this probably about, I want to say a seven and a half. It's good quality, but doesn't quite have that wow factor. Yeah, like, imagine if you uh, add a different seasoning to this. Maybe like, um, say, a Cajun seasoning or something like that. Maybe paprika, cyan powder, you know, something like that. I would bet it would be even better. Mm -hmm. But, overall, good recipe. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, that's all the time we have for today's TikTok recipes video. I hope you enjoyed it, and we might do more of these if I can find some more recipes. <laughs> I'm sure there's a bunch. Oh, yeah, there's a heck of a lot on TikTok. If you guys want to, like, create easy recipes, you know, cook some stuff, search on there. It's endless. Mm -hmm. But we'll definitely be doing some more. It was fun. So don't forget to click the right button down below to subscribe and hit the bell to see notifications, and we'll see you folks in the next video. This is Crystal. And Charles. Signing, signing off. off. Bye, Bye birdies. birdies.